right, folks, welcome back to the channel here. It's Monday, January 16th, 2023. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I got the day off. Um, today I wanted to go over something I get asked a lot about on the channel here is I get a lot of questions about the rotisserie that I have. So this rotisserie, I bought it in 2016, I believe. Uh, got it off eBay. It's still on eBay. It's called CR3000. So if you go to eBay and you just type in simply CR3000, this rotisserie is going to pop up. Now, when I bought this thing in 2016, it was $800, I believe. Uh, now it's it's about 500 more. They have... They can either freight ship it, I believe. Now, I'm not getting paid to say any of this, but I believe they can freight ship, sh freight ship it or uh, you can go drop it, uh, pick it up at the will call. So that's what I did. They have five distributors in the United States, uh, I believe Michigan, California, North Carolina, Texas, and Indiana, I believe. So I went to the one in Texas. Uh, it was about a four hour drive for me, I believe, and uh, picked it up myself. Comes in a crate. Now, when I bought this thing for 800 bucks, I figured it was gonna be a one-time use for the car that I was building at the time and uh, and then sell it, you know, sell it to recoup some money. Um, but since then I've had, a, I wanna say at least five different cars on this rotisserie and, uh, and it hadn't failed yet. Now it's well used and I had to modify quite a bit, um, but by far it was the cheapest uh, online, cheapest one. Um, Cheap is not always good, but in this instant, it's it was okay. Uh, is it worth spending a thousand dollars to get a better one? I mean, it just depends on how long you plan on using it. But for the hobby type stuff that I do, this one gets the job done. So just going to go over some details. Uh, first thing that went out on this thing was the wheels. It comes with little three-inch uh, polyurethane wheels, and I think they lasted one job. And, and then they started, the, the bearings started going out and it got hard to move, even on a flat concrete surface like this. So then I replaced the wheels with some solid steel wheels, um, which, which worked, but if there's any type of pebble or anything, uh, or any type of, you know, a little piece of scrap steel on the ground or something, the, the steel wheel is going to catch on it. And so I moved this thing outside in the driveway a lot and, you know, it, it just kept getting stuck so I finally upgraded to these wheels I believe they're five inch uh, and I got them on Amazon so and I don't know what they're made out of but they 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 seem to hold up pretty well and I replaced all six so I got these things on Amazon uh, a lot of people use Amazon the way I picked them up was you you can apply I believe they were a hundred dollars for six of them and you can apply for this Amazon uh, credit card uh, and you get a free $100 uh, use so what I did was I used that card to buy these wheels and then I canceled the credit card so I got the wheels for free so that was a score that's something people can do welded them on and it rolls much better another thing that needed to be modified was we'll take you around back here to fit these wide Impalas is these arms had to be moved so when you buy it, the extension here is in the middle. Well, the body mount's over there. So the only way this will work is if you have it hanging off the edge with only this bolt holding it down. Not too, not too good of an idea if you're flipping this thing sideways. So I chopped off the, the extension here and kicked it over to the side. It lines up, both holes are good. Also drilled, drilled these holes out so the, the bolts go all the way through. Did the same thing on the front even though it wasn't needed. As you can see, they were originally right there. We kicked them over here, re-welded them, and now it fits with plenty of, plenty of space here. Um, another thing we did to modify this thing yesterday, actually, was we put these, I guess you'd call them jam nuts or whatever, because when this thing is locked right here, without this modification, it still has some movement. So if you're in the car working or something and you, and you gotta get out, the car is like a surfboard. It tilts at least a foot in either direction, even though it's locked. So that got kind of annoying. So yesterday we put these jam nuts in here. So now you hit that with the impact, tighten it down, and this thing ain't going nowhere. This thing is, this is stuck. Um, 
Another modification we did was I added these extensions in the center. Uh, and I added two more wheels on the outside. Mainly because with this thing flipped on the side, if you're outside and a good gust of wind comes, uh, the last thing you want is this thing to roll over on the side. And I felt like the, the arms here, however wide they are, uh, and you can see how it is compared to the car. I felt like that was kind of an accident waiting to happen. So I just bought some box tube from the local steel yard. We added, uh, of course, like I say, two more wheels. We added the box tube in the center with two, two lock nuts in there. So these arms are locked in there for when you flip it off on the side. You can also take them out and it's, it can get into tighter spaces because this thing sticks out almost 18 inches or so outside of the side of the car. So, so far for the money that I spent, it's pretty good. The jacks still hold up pretty good. This thing will flip a, a car all the way on the side. I've never flipped one completely over, like upside down. I just, just simply, that doesn't, that doesn't look very safe to me. People do it all the time, but I've never done that. But this thing will flip all the way on the side if you have it uh, to the max setting. So four, four holes in here, this thing goes all the way up, and then it will flip all the way to the side. So what I plan on doing here in about two weeks or so, I'm going to get a sandblaster out here, and we're going to flip this thing on the side, and he's going to go to town on, the, on all the floor pan work that we did. Uh, you know, about a year ago, so I think got whatever floor needed replacing, they replaced, and it's ready to get cleaned up and get get some coating on it. So we're going to be moving forward here in the bodywork stage of this thing pretty soon here. But just wanted to, uh, as you can see, I have it lined up with tape, so I know where this thing goes uh, whenever I put it back together, because it completely disassembles for easy storage. So I tape the. Uh, where the box tubes are at so I know exactly where they go for the next car. So, like I say, it's, it's pretty good pretty good for the money. The, like I say, the jacks still work pretty good. It is kind of weenie, you know, with these little set screws. They're, they're kind of weenie. But I paid 800 bucks, and uh, so far I've gotten my money's worth. So, um, hope, hope anyone that's asked questions about what the rotisserie is or where I got it, like I say, I get a lot of questions because rotisseries are expensive. I mean, they run up to $2,500 or more, and depending on how often you're going to use it, it's not exactly worth buying. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. Y'all stay tuned for more work, and thanks for watching.